Welcome back to the Asgoni Only Iron Man. You are watching cable TV. Let's jump right the fuck into it, cunt. Alright, so we're starting off this episode with a little bit of thieving. Yes, that's right, thieving. My favorite skill to do in Asgoni. Now, stealing from this man in this little cooks cooking place. This little, I'm going to call it a little cooking hut, a little pizza hut. Uh, yeah, just stealing some coin of this boy, bad boy. Uh, I'm not sure what he did to be so bad. I think he um, killed a kid or something. But that's, look, that's kind of besides the point. Um, we're just starting here with a little bit of thieving. It's a bit of a precursor to what I'm going to be doing on a little bit of this episode. Because we do need 1500 Jello points for the Fire Staff. Now, we will need to make a trip to Barrow and buy a Fire Staff. Such so, deal with that, you little chibi kid. So we're gonna come here and uh, yeah, we're in the dwarven mine, right? Cool. We're gonna mine some iron ores. Why? Dorage quest. We talked about it last episode. What are you doing? We've got some clay. Got some clay, boys. Clay boy. Now, I came over here to think I could find copper. Does there look like there's any copper here, son? Does that have a good look? No, oh wait. Yeah, exactly. But, thankfully there are some red berries over here, and some copper. So, I mean it worked out pretty well. So I'm just going to mine a little bit of copper uh, for Thurish Quest, and uh, we're, all, we're all set there. Um, Probably could have done this in Longridge, but like I had to come to that. So, while I'm in Varric, when in Rome, take advantage of all that, steal all their tea. You know the saying, when in Rome, steal their tea. It's classic, I heard it in school in like grade two. Now, we're gonna steal a bit more, bit more tea. We're gonna get the 20 friggin' thieving. I had a total blank on that skill before. No <laughs> money thieving, which allows me to steal steal silk if I could magically be an Adi from that. Adun? Adadi. It's Adun, technically. But Adadi is kind of funny. Anyway, I'm just stalling. As you see, wine stalls. The <laughs> ha! Funny! Uh, wine stalls are gonna be unlocked there. Which is all very now, I, in my drunken stupor, <clears throat> I sort of wanted to go to the clothes shop and I was like, hey, I need some friends. What can you do for me to sell ya? And she said, well, babe, for you, I have the finest proof garments in all of Gilmore. And I said, babe, why would I want free garments? Do I look like I fuck kids? And she said, look, that's besides the point. What you do in your spare time is none of my business. But these give three prayer points, three pr plus three prayer bonus boost per piece. So do it. And so I did. Also, not too bad for when you're trying to do magic. So uh, yeah, you might see me dawning these in the future. Now, stealing from this woman. I was here too long. Just, just look, I've already already been here like eight minutes. Crazy. Now, I'm gonna keep going. There's 1300 coins. We're getting close. I can taste the freedom. And now, you see, if you look at the time counter on the bottom right, I, this took me like at least 20 minutes just to get like a thousand gold in pickpocket. Do I recommend this? No! But you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So there's the fire stuff. That's huge. That's actually bigger than my penis, which few things are, like a piece of chalk, um, a lighter. Anyway, I'm gonna take this fire staff and we're gonna do some magical things with it in just a moment. But you remember the saying, when in Rome, steal their tea. So now I have an obligation to steal just a little bit more tea. How much tea? I don't know man, just a couple hundred. Look, that brings us 
to the climax of this episode at the early start of this account. The Count Draenor rematch fight. I've stocked up on a couple hundred tea and I've got plenty of mind and air runes to go along with this fire stuff and fire strike the hell out of this dude. So sit back, relax, enjoy the combat and the blood sport. In the summer and the weather's fucking wicked So I figured I'd be hitting the beach Look at skinny dippers titties and get something to eat After half a pound of chips and a frown a burger I'm sitting on my ass like a council worker Reminiscing about being pissed off about A house burning down to the ground I'm being out on my ass Before my change of fortune Now I score shoes, don't get up before noon Said your mama's on the head of my knob And it's better than heading to my dead end job Because the boss was a cockhead when I was a clerk so I clocked him and now I don't work It's a beautiful day and I can use a cliche Cause I am a greatest Like Cassius Clay I got the world on my feet and my toe jam's nasty Fuck I'm good, just ask me I couldn't give a shit about your corporate hierarchy Fuck I'm good, just ask me I'm not the kind of guy to say anything about another dude's mum, but uh, yeah, if Count Draenor had one, yeah, she's going to be pretty disappointed right about now. But uh, speaking of mothers, mine's quite proud of me for taking down uh, Count Draenor. Can we get some some pop chance in the chat, boys? So you see me? I I went over to farmers. Yeah, I realized um, farmers give like 80. But that's besides the point. Look at this. Look at this. Someone's doing the quest with Zenny. Like, he's doing the ham quest. Another slice of ham. One of them, you know. But I saw a wild duck again. That was kind of cool. Um. Cool to system. Was it, I didn't need to do this. But it's an extra quest point. Which is great. <clears throat> and this will actually give me the 12 quest points. Um. That I need. You see, 12 quest points, I can now do Night Sword, uh, Night Sword, Black Knight's Fortress. But, um, I, I needed, I did that quest to give me some cooking experience, because I need 10 to cook these red berry pies. So, yeah, I realized that, like, right here. Right here. And, uh, like, shit, I'm in Barrow. So, I traveled back to Longbridge to these chickens, and I... Cooked them on this fire here. Um, yeah, what a little tip. You can farm chickens. And I believe in the other chicken coop there is a, a, a fire pit, like an, an oven in the uh, stove. Uh, but yeah, there's 10 cooking. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, like each and every one of you. Except for you, Damien, fuck you. Now, Gonna cook this red berry pie in the very first fucking tent because I am a legend. Yeah, that's good. A legend. Look, allegedly. Allegedly. We have a legend in this spot. Hello, you Nintendo Dwarf. You're a cute little guy. Would you like some red berry pie? Oh, I like red berry pie. He, he likes red berry pie. Hey, I feel it. Would you like red berry pie? I don't know why I'm Scottish. But thank you. Oh, no worries, Thurgo. Look, man, I want to go get on that fluorite mining. I'm going to mine that shit. Get it done. Well, that's pretty much the end of this quest. I'm going to take like three years to mine this fluorite. I'm going to go hand it in to the guy. And that's going to be Night Sword completed. Granting me another quest point. So, that's just going to about wrap up this episode. Three episodes in, and we finally did it, ladies and gentlemen. We actually took down Count Draenor. Got 20 attack, got the pre requirements for the Black Knight Fortress, which will allow us to do a uh, recruitment drive. You see here, I got two Blue Right Swords because I'm a beast. One quest point straight to 29 smithing. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching cable TV. I hope you have a motherfucking great day, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Happy days. Peace.